The new Marvel Collector Core Animal Instinct is the theme for this particular crate. Inside we have the Marvel t-shirt. This one featuring Howard the Duck. Very cool black tees are always very slimming, which I like. Howard the Duck on the front of that. Inside we have a Rocket Raccoon pencil uh, and notepad. Keeping with the beast or animal instinct theme. Um, we have a squirrel girl patch. Probably one of the more fun patches they've done lately. We have a Black Panther wobbler. Marvel exclusive. Obviously that movie doing extremely well at the box office. Even on its second weekend now. We also have the Funko Pop Rhino. This one's awesome. One of my favorite Spider-Man villains. Would go on to face the Hulk in uh, several other comics. But that's a Marvel exclusive. Very cool that we're seeing a brand new mold. Um, I think this is my last Marvel Collector Core crate, I believe. The uh, subscription will be up, as you can see by my t-shirt. I was one of the original founding members. The very first crate came out right before the first Avengers movie. As you can see, I've got all the exclusives from the previous Marvel Collector Core. Uh, the, the Captain America Iron Man 2-pack with Civil War. The Villains 2-pack were Bullseye and Daredevil took each other on. Doctor Strange. Some fantastic pops. The Marvel Exclusive Collector Core Iron Man first appearance with the Vision that came in that one. And unfortunately, they've done away with the grandfathering in the people who were founders. Now it's just the same flat rate for anybody who wants a crate, which is no incentive really for me to stay when there are so many other crates out there. Very disappointing. Very sad to see. Hopefully Marvel and Funko will reconsider this. Whether they do or not, I don't know. But, uh, like I said, it's a shame to have to give this up, but that's the way it goes. Um, best of luck to Funko and Marvel Collector Core. And if you enjoyed these unboxing videos, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at geek to me Radio. Until next time.